Black 2. Tinibu react as a part of the key 115 kidnapped cause. Burn down 17 communities. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. President Paula Ahmed Tinibu on Tuesday condemned the brutal attack in Bakos and Bakling, Ladi local government area. Of Plateau State, where over 115 persons were killed by bandits. Recall that the government had on Christmas Eve invaded the local council, killed at least 115 villagers and burned down 17 communities. The state governor, Galab Moswan, who confirmed the number of casualties and the level of destruction in the attack, in an interview on Tuesday, said scores of residents are still missing. Tiniburi attacked to the attack in a statement by his spokesman, Ajuri Ngele, on Tuesday in Abuja. The statement said Tinibu has directed security agencies to immediately move in, score every stretch of the zone, and apprehend the culprit. The president also directed the immediate mobilization of relief resources for surviving victims of the attack as well as medical treatment for the wounded. While condoling with the government and the people of Plateau, the president has shown Nigerians that the, the, that the envoys of death, pain, and sorrow will not escape justice. Is this not madness? There was nothing like death in Plateau State before he would become a president of Nigeria. Nigerians think they can eat their cake and have it back. Especially those who added Tinibu into office by rigging. Especially the Supreme Court. Especially the military. Especially the police. Especially the Appeal Court. Especially the NEC. What were you expecting? That a man who happens to be a drug barrel all of a sudden choose a Muslim Muslim ticket and he could not see other genuine Muslim. He went ahead to choose Shetima, a former terrorist. And you expect everything to be okay. You know, people think they have sense. They have no sense. You want to bring in your criminal brother, father, Tribu, as the president of Nigeria. But if you as you are doing that with your way, you did not advise him to choose a respectable man from northern part of the country if you want to go for a Muslim Muslim ticket. Rather, you allowed him to choose Shetima, a former terrorist. Why should Plato people could not die? Because why? Because they voted, they didn't vote for Tinibu. Is this what is happening now? Because Plato did not vote for Tinibu, this is why they should could not die. Shetima is teaching them a lesson by killing them secretly and you are pretending. Do you think we are stupid? These are people who gave will be a million something vote since after that election. You have got to kill them, Tinipu. You are the one murdering Plateau people. People should call express, but I tell you face to face that you are the one killing them. Your vice president is using bandit that he created to kill. You go around the remorse with bandit. Since you become a president, you have not done anything important. You allow the bandit to move around freely. Both the ones that came from some far away, not in Nigeria. We all know how they came to Nigeria. The same you, El Far, planned with Buhari and bring in bandits outside the country into Nigeria because he wanted Buhari to win an election. People cannot call expert expert and tell the truth to the face of a criminal. They could not romance him because he can't be president. Who made the president? You mean the one that he made you? It's a shame. The Nigerians don't want to rise up. You see, many they come to complain. But do the right thing. They will not do the right thing. They are contributing in the problem happening to Nigerian people. How do you choose a rebel Muslim Muslim ticket and a terrorist for that matter? Not a responsible Muslim man. Now, bandits are killing black people because they did not vote for you. Because I saw you as a threat. To Nigeria state. All you do is keep people who didn't do anything to you in prison. 
It costs nothing. Why the criminals and terrorists continue to move around? You have a terrorist backing you up as your advice, but you have the audacity to keep a man who did not commit any terrorism at in dungeon of Jesus. You guys are the ones causing the problem that Nigerians are going through. Everything is high in cost. Nothing is working. This was how Buhari. Let Nigerians continue to give them noiseless hope until Buhari finishes his second turn without achieving anything. And that is going to happen to you too because I told you from the beginning that it will be fair. Because he came into the office with Uruuru. And even as that, he have refused to do the right thing by freeing those freedom fighters who had not do anything harm. Rather, asking for their freedom. If the country is working well, nobody will ask for his freedom. You are going to fight Tinibu. But why I am so angry is that your useless vice president is using Bukaram and planning terrorists to kill innocent plateau people because they voted for one man that is called Ibo Man. Some people will not take this true story, but that is the truth. What is what is happening in Plateau State today? I'm not a manabu, I'm not a pastor. But when I tell you my vision, take it that way. All those people being came plateau is bad since they committed the wars because they voted for me. And you are criminal terrorist source for vice president has unleashed terror on them. And you are here pretending. Do you think we are stupid? Tribute, do you think we are stupid? Buhari created the flying terrorists before his death. And you and I know this. That that thing, living somewhere there in Staura is not absolutely Buhari. Asha Buhari can deceive people as he likes. He likes. We are not fools. If Buhari was let there from death, let them let us know. After death. Tinibu is the problem of Nigeria. Just like Buhari was the problem of Nigeria. Tinibu is the problem of Nigeria. Nothing can ever work. People continue to die. Go and mark it one place. I said it before this whole thing started. And a minute after, I said it after the election, people started dying in Plateau State. He's the one killing them. Tinibu can never say that he does not know what is happening in Plateau State. He knows. They're only doing this just to make sure that Nesta don't try nonsense. They are the one killing them. People should wake up and tell people the truth. You are the one killing plateau people. Plateau people, you are the one killing them. The plateau people. All the hope pastors that is uh, living in plateau should wake up and say the truth. They know what is happening. Tinibu is the one killing plateau people with the help of his vice, Shetima, a terrorist he brought from pit of hell to precise the affairs of Nigerians. Mark it one place. He will never achieve anything. All he will do is kill him. He has militarized Ibo land. <laughs> there is no military in Yoruba land though. But he has militarized Ibo land. For anyone who became president, he will leave his own place and militarize Ibo land. And they are everywhere. I think I've come to the end of this news. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Bobby the Great. I've just finished my analysis. Thank you for watching.